I'm Samantha McKelvey for It's Relevant News, and we're taking a look at what made news this year in Stanford business and economy. In his first State of the City address, Mayor David Martin said Stanford's economy is thriving. The local economy is climbing out of the recession and doing so at a faster rate than other cities in Connecticut. Since the recession, Stanford has had an unemployment rate that is better than Connecticut and better than the national average. The mayor said Stanford is in a constant state of growth with the expansion of organizations such as Chelsea Piers and Stanford Hospital, the development of new housing units, and the addition of new businesses. We continue to be the largest financial district in the New York metro area outside of New York City, home to four Fortune 500 companies and nine Fortune 1000 companies. And of course, everyone who comes to Stanford makes note of the Harbor Point developments. Um, 1,800 units are now open or under construction. Frontier Communications was one of the companies that moved to Stanford this year, bringing its new corporate headquarters to the city this fall. In October, the company completed its $2 billion acquisition of AT&T Connecticut's internet, TV, and phone operations. The company has taken on over 2,000 former AT&T employees and plans to add more jobs to the state's workforce. This week marks another milestone for Frontier. We're welcoming Connecticut colleagues to the company and to our new East region, which consists of New York, Pennsylvania, and Connecticut. As a result of this acquisition, Frontier will now serve virtually 100% of Connecticut. This ultimately uh, came down to uh, an equation that was re relatively easy to support. This is the definition of a win-win situation. I'm Samantha McKelvey, and that's what made news this year in Stanford business and economy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the new year.